Hi, this is Steve Graves. I'm the author of Freddy Short Pants and the dreadful, dirigible disaster, an old tale of Ch uh, Chillicothe. Um, I grew up in Chillicothe. I grew up down on Mulberry Street, and that's not too far from where um, Freddy Myers, the protagonist, the main character in the book, um, grew up as well. He grew up down on South Paint Street, and I believe the house is still there, close to um, Jack's Tires, and across the street from the tavern called uh, Paint Grill. He was um, a little boy, and he lived there with his mother. It appeared that his father had died perhaps uh, a year or so before his big adventure, and um, that was sad, but uh, uh, people died um, relatively young from uh, things that uh, hospitals and doctors couldn't really deal with that. Um, I wrote this book after I had read a newspaper article about Freddie Myers and his unlikely adventure um, online. and. Um, I had a high school teacher who I did not realize had retired. Um, who this this teacher? She taught English, and I contacted her, and I thought, what a wonderful story that was true that could be converted um, into kind of a tall tale because it was nearly unbelievable uh, to begin with. And I, I sent um, this teacher of mine, um, Chris uh, Jones, she was Miss Monroe when I was in high school, and I sent her the story and I said, this would be, uh, I think, a very good assignment uh, for your students. Let them read this newspaper article and then have them create a story around it, you know, uh, come up with some stuff about uh, Freddie uh, Myers himself and, and you know what happened after and whatnot and um, she she emailed me back and said well I, I've retired I don't do this anymore um, but she said I remember that you were a pretty decent writer uh, back in high school and um, you should do that assignment you should try to write it and I thought to myself, oh, no, no, I, I can't really do this. I'm, I'm a college professor. I write sort of serious research about serious topics. And, you know, uh, I, I can't do dialogue and, and fun stuff. Uh, but she kept encouraging me and said, I, I think you can do this. I think you can do this. Um, and this was during the beginning of the pandemic. And I had... Um, a little extra time on my hands. So after she uh, pestered me for about a month, I relented and said, well, let's see, I'll, I'll try to, to, to write a short story. And I was thinking, okay, 20 pages or something. And so I read the newspaper article again, and then I went online and dug up a couple of other newspaper articles about uh, Freddie Myers and his adventure, um, because it was a kind of a a national news story at one point, and then the character, um, uh, the, some of the other characters in the book, I was able to look some stuff up about them, and I found uh, an old, um, essentially a telephone book, um, a directory of Chillicothe that had lots of names and uh, businesses and, and this and that in there, and from that, um, I had all of the pieces and parts uh, for the story, and I just started uh, writing, and I uh, messed up quite a few times and had to go back and, and fix things, um, but mostly it was just um, my imagination applied to this actual true story. Uh, Freddie Myers didn't have a little sister named Hannah. I uh, don't believe it had neighbors uh, that, you know, was Georgie Stevens. That's actually my great aunt. Um, and so I filled in some names with, you know, my friend's great-grandparents or that kind of thing. 
and and just thought of what would have happened if that was me or what would have happened if that was my friend I thought about conversations that I have had and and that's how it worked it wasn't anything sort of magical um, it did require um, a lot of going back and forth and trying to rewrite it and it's still when I, I read it um, uh, a month ago for the first time since it was published that um, I found a lot of things that I would change, but that's okay. Um, you just do the best you can and have a friend or two read it, your stuff for you and uh, do it again. Uh, fix it up and, and don't, uh, don't be too proud. Uh, don't be um, too afraid of criticism. And I think anybody could do that if, if they're at least okay at telling a story um, or at least writing one down. The other thing I would do is just encourage you to read. Read a lot. Read other people's stories and pay attention to how they put them together. Um, writing is probably a great deal like learning to play a, a guitar or a piano that you have to listen to other people do it to understand how it's done. So. If you're an aspiring author, give it a shot. Read a lot and and just try. It um, The worst thing that can happen is you're not very good at it and you move on and try something different, but it definitely won't be the end of the world. So hope you enjoy the book and uh, I hope to see you again or see you some point uh, when I come to visit Chillicothe.